Hi, I'm Dr. Gabby Cora, and we're at the National Publicity Summit with Gary Denning. Gary, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Tell us, what brings you here today? Well, I wrote a book called Invest in America. Okay, it's an outline of uh, one of the things that I think we need to do and need to look at to put people back to work so they can pay their home, pay for a home, pay rent, whichever is convenient for them, give them a good dependable transportation back and forth to work, okay? And it's a program that I think that America needs, we need to take and invest in America, and if we're gonna invest in America, we gotta invest in our people. And we need to go back to the basics, like you said. You come from the transportation industry. Yes, that's part of my background. So, yes. so is is this part of what brought you into writing about investing in your own transportation, in your own home, in your renting? Tell us a bit about your own story and how you came to writing this book. Well, I came to write this book because the simple fact is that we got so many people that are losing their jobs and stuff like this. I'm in the transportation industry, so I drive down the highways all the time. You okay. know. And I'm in and out of the industrial areas and stuff, you know. You've and driven through America. I know what I know what Wall Street's figures are gonna be long before Wall Street ever sees it. That's a great point. What what are the factors that tell you what Wall Street is gonna see later on? Well the factors are is is you can I know which trucking I know which trucking company does what. Okay, all right. And the thing of this is when you're not seeing their trucks on the road, that means that people aren't working, okay? The thing of it is is when you go in and out of these industrial areas, okay, and their uh, buildings, the building setting there is for rent, is for lease, and all these signs and stuff like this, well, that building's setting there and it's empty. At one point in time, that building had employees in it. Okay, that means that if there's nobody in there, that means they're not doing anything. That means that somebody's not working. Okay, and when people don't work, they don't have the money to take care of the obligations and stuff that they need to take care of. So what would you like to see in terms of our investing in America? What would I like to see? Yes. I'd like to see our, I'd like to see these people go back to work okay and which is something that we need to do okay and well my plan is is we got to we're going to do a pay increase and invest in our and in, in the people that we have working now okay so that they can take care of their obligations and stuff at home okay when they get their obligations and stuff at home then they'll start buying things that's being manufactured to put and bring the rest of the people back we're going to feed the system from the bottom, okay, so that we can have it on the top end, okay. This economy with the way things are going right now, you've got to take care of the people on the bottom end and take care of the people on the bottom end, they'll make the rest of it all happen. You've got to let the system work. Gary, how can people reach you or how can they get a hold of your book? They can get my book through my uh, email address. They're taking care of everything. Have a job, own your own home, work through, have health insurance, have a new car. This is what everyone should be I able to focus on, right? Right. And the thing of it is with what, what, with what I've got, the way I've got it laid out is, is we all do this all at the same time. Okay. All the business people, okay, we're going to come say January 1. January 1, this is what we're going to do. Okay, we all make the move at the same time. Okay, when we make the move at the same time, okay, that means that we can share all the responsibilities. This isn't going to change overnight. So you're going to be looking at probably six months into this program, okay, before you're really going to start to see any kind of an increase in anything because the thing of it is, is right now we have people that are behind in their utility bills, are behind on their mortgages, and there's things that they're going to have to get caught back up on before they're going to be able to go out and buy the extras that they need, you know, or to improve on the way they're living now. 
So we want to see those uh, trucks riding our highways back in America. Thank you so much for being with us today, Gary. Thank you.